Greetings, everyone. It's Brian Bean, creator of Page, which, as you know by now, stands for People, Activity, and Yourself. I'm also founder of the Extra Digit Movement, where we teach you personal and economic empowerment. We're back again with yet another video, and this is one of my favorites. Just so we're clear, you've seen income shifting, the art of going from the highest tax bracket in the world, AW2, to the lowest tax bracket, which is investing, also known as asset accumulation. You've seen the importance of eliminating all of your high interest and getting out of debt because debt robs you of your wealth. You've also seen the power of owning a home-based business, which by and large can be your number one asset. We even let you in on some secrets, i.e. the banker's secret. Make sure you guys check that out. But today we're going to talk to you guys about something very important known as the adjustment versus the refund. I want to give you guys an introduction to a form from the IRS website, irs.gov. I'm holding in my hand this document to show you why this is even a debate, adjustment versus refund. So let's look at what the IRS says regarding your tax refund that everybody in America or 90% of us seem to get excited about. I'm going to skip down here to the middle section. It says, where does your refund come from? It comes from your wallet or purse when you tell your employer how much to withhold from your paycheck or you make an estimated tax payment. For the average refund, that's about $40 a week too much. Now, as you guys know, I do a lot of math, but I have my degree in English. And the reason I have these blanks is because I'm not very smart. I just know how to fill in the answers. Re in the English language means again. And I know for a fact that fund means money. So your refund is really your money Again, the government is admitting that most Americans pay about $40 a week too much, hence a tax refund. I submit to you that if you got your money up front, you could put that money to work and get out of financial trouble throughout the year, as opposed to waiting until next year to get your wet tax refund. Let me give you one more thing here. It says you might be using the extra withholding as a forced savings method, but Uncle Sam does not pay interest on refunds. In other words, the government borrowed your money throughout the year. Uncle Sam then went and invested your money, gave you a percentage of it back and gave you no interest on top, even though they made money with your money. Here's the advice from the federal government. Putting the money in any type of savings account or paying down debts may be a better option. So I'm just simply saying to you, I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I'm not giving you investment advice or any recommendations. I'm not allowed to do that. What I'm telling you is the IRS website stated many, many years ago that you're overpaying, oh you're God. getting a refund, and you probably may want to put that money to work during the year or save it. So what I want to do is grab my pen as usual or my marker and put some numbers to exactly what the IRS website told you to do. So again, follow me from left to right and we're going to let math be the answer. Not your opinion, not emotion, not how we feel. Always let math be your teacher. So this is very, very simple. We're going to say you took the advice of the federal government, not my advice. You took the advice of the IRS.gov website. You went and you revisited your W-4. Now, before I write this down, let's be sure this is clear. If you take the advice of the previous videos and you open a home-based business, you have to understand there are hundreds of deductions that a home-based business owner receives on the back of the W-4 that a person without a home-based business does not receive because they don't get the same perks and benefits. So let's assume you took that advice you now have several tax deductions because you are able to increase your allowances being a home-based business owner. You went and you adjusted your W-4 and you picked up, I don't care if it's you personally or you and your significant other, picked up an extra $500 a month. Now let's say you picked up $500 a month and you did that for 15 years. Most of us are adults watching this video, although I don't mind you teaching this to your children. Most of us have been in the work world for at least 15 years. Now, you're starting to get your money up front as opposed to waiting for a tax refund. Do you guys know at 8% interest, people say, Brian, where in the world are you getting 8% interest? 
we show you how to invest wholesale not retail that's another video but let's assume for the sake of the math you're getting eight percent interest on wholesale investments do you guys know this is one hundred and seventy three thousand dollars that you've earned by getting your money up front now let's get serious let's say we take the same individual whether you're single or married you, you adjust your w4 and you earn the same thing five hundred dollars a month now we're going to take that five hundred dollars a month this time and we're going to go 30 years instead of 15. now as you know with compound interest the answer doesn't just double at 30 percent the answer is now seven hundred and forty five thousand dollars that you've generated because you decided what to get your money up front lower your taxes legally ethically and morally by opening a home-based business and revisiting your w4 this this is very very profound there's a young lady that I introduced to the extra digit movement who revisited her w4 she still had single with no children on her w4 she's been an educator for 19 years and she's been married with two children for about 15 now what does that mean it means she lost about 90 thousand dollars because she did not revisit her w-4 and adjust it now here's the key and you'll learn this as you join our movement watch these videos and get educated it's not the ninety thousand dollars that she's upset about it's the lost opportunity cost of what the ninety thousand dollars could have generated had she adjusted her w-4 15 years prior so let's look at what most people are doing most people keep the $500 a month and just keep the W-4 the same and that equates to about $6,000 a year. Well, the problem with the $6,000 a year is now this is taxed and the refund will equate to about a $4,000 check. Now, when you get a tax refund and bring it to about $40,000 and multiply it by 15 years, you only end up with sixty thousand dollars as opposed to hundred and seventy three thousand see this is very important even your tax refund is taxed <laughs> because guess what anything you make in America is taxed it's just a matter of how much so six thousand dollars becomes four thousand at no interest at all because they take the money out up front multiply by 15 years and you just sold you're, you are now short a hundred and thirteen thousand dollars when you could have had a hundred and seventy three thousand so in summary six thousand dollars at 15 years is a hundred and eighty thousand that's for those of you who don't believe the tax refund is taxed I'm giving you the entire six thousand dollars times the exact same amount 15 years this is how much you actually had in income. We're going to give you the truth, which is the $4,000 because the $6,000 is in fact taxed for those of you who understand the tax refund. We're going to multiply that by 15 years. And this is $120,000. So either way, 180,000, 120,000 does not trump the adjustment of the W-4. The six thousand dollars that you get up front 500 times 12 for 30 years equals at 8% again seven hundred and forty five thousand dollars there's a big big difference we're talking a life-changing difference between you getting taxed up front on your money and letting the government take the taxes off the top and you making a small adjustment on the back of your W-4 that allows that money to become tax deferred because you invested it. Again, don't adjust your W-4 and go shopping. Don't adjust your W-4 and start balling. Adjust your W-4 so you can say to yourself, I refuse to let the government get a dime more than they should. This is not about tax evasion. This is about tax protection.
using the laws that are on the books because the form exists for a reason and so does a home-based business. I hope you guys understand the difference between the adjustment and the refund and I want you guys to learn more about being taxed versus being tax deferred. My name is Brian Bean, founder of the Extra Digit Movement and remember, money talks but wealth whispers. Click the link below, take immediate action and learn more information today.